teach at Los Angeles Academy of Figurative Art right now. I started studying with my father when I was uh, about eight. He's probably the person that's affected me most and who I respect most. I'm eternally grateful for him giving me such an education at such an early age. I have students that are in their 70s and you know, when I tell them how old I am, they're like, oh my god, you're so lucky, you're so lucky, and I, I am. You know, it's a difficult career to get into, but if you can establish yourself, if you can actually make it as an artist, I can't think of a better lifestyle choice. You know, what can you do with your life to where you really, you know, in, not only enjoy yourself, but you do something worthwhile to where you actually have sort of a long-term fulfillment. And you know, for me, I think art is essential in that. Recently, I discovered that I really enjoy uh, painting animals as well. I've been really fascinated with the birds, actually. I like painting crows a lot. I really like painting like owls. Um, I've even done some hummingbirds, and then I've done a bunch of elephants and, and bears and things like that. I think that animals and humans share a lot of traits, and I feel like in certain ways, animals almost convey those emotions stronger than humans do just because they're more genuine. I own the Blue Jay, the Night Owl, the Grizzly Bear, and the Coyote. Um, I think that basically being surrounded by people you love, people you appreciate, and doing what you love and what you appreciate is really what it comes down to.